I was just in shock. I was like, <laughs> I was so happy. It's how Bob Wenberg felt when he learned police arrested three people suspected of trying to rob him and running him over, breaking his leg. It happened Sunday morning. Bob was out walking his dog near Southeast 79th and Tibbetts. He says a car pulled up. Someone rolled down the window and pointed a gun at him. I was like, I think it was my wife. You know, I was like, they're going to kill me. She's going to be alone. What Bob didn't know then was that the three people in that car were just 17, 15, and 11 years old. Police believe the boys were in the middle of a 13-hour violent crime spree across parts of North and East Portland. According to investigators, it started at midnight with two vehicles stolen from a driveway. After that, there were shots fired at a house and multiple gunpoint robberies. At least two robbery victims were riding a bike. Others were on foot. And of course, there's what happened to Bob. And there's no doubt that that was the gun that was pointed at me. Finally, at 12.59 p.m., police spotted the suspect's vehicle here near Southeast 83rd and Duke. They saw the three boys running away, so they set up a perimeter. Not long after that, they arrested all three of them. They say the 11-year-old was armed with a handgun. I told him, I said, it was like a young, young kid who, who pointed that gun at me. And uh, he was younger than I thought, I guess. It, uh, I mean, 11 years old, that's just, I can't believe it. The 15 and 17-year-old are in juvenile detention. They're facing multiple charges with more expected. Police say the 11-year-old was too young to be booked. He was released to a guardian while police continued their investigation. You know, and I could have died easily. Bob is grateful he spoke up and hopes it helped police find the suspects. The end of a crime spree, he believes, could have been prevented. Our poor police department needs to get the resources they need. And I mean, if you don't fear being pro you caught or prosecuted, this is what happens. In Southeast Portland, Catherine Cook, KGW News.